So now we can see C0 summability. Right? So for that Sn, that is the nth partial sum of the series, uh, uh, summation A. Sn denotes the nth partial sum. And sequence sigma n denotes the sequence of arithmetic means. That is S1 plus S2 etc plus Sn. So divided by n, which gives the arithmetic mean. Now, the series summation an is said to be C0 summable. When we can say means, when we can say the series is said to be C0 summable means, if the sequence converges, if the sequence sigma n converges, then you can say that the series is C0 summable and it is denoted by C1 summable. Right? So, here you can see that. The same, uh, sigma n converges, that is limit n tends to infinity sigma n is equal to s, that is converges. Then we can say this s is said to be C0 sum or we can say that C1 sum. So that you can write a summation a n is equal to s. Okay, C0 sum of C comma 1. Clear? Now we can do a problem, C0 summability. So for that, uh, let a n. First example we can see let a n is equal to z power n modulus z is equal to 1 and z not equal to 1. So for that we already know that sigma 1 is equal, sorry sigma n is equal to s1 plus s2 etc plus s n divided by n which should be converges right. So first of all we can find s1. So for that s n first we can write that is a1 plus a2 etc plus a n right. That is the nth partial sum of the series. Nth partial sum of the series summation a. So that is the Sn value. So uh, a1. So from here you can write that a1 is equal to z power 1. Then a2 is z square. Then x plus z power n. So from this if you take z outside. Then 1 plus z x plus z power n minus 1. So which is equal to which is equal to z into geometric series 1 minus z power n divided by 1 minus z. Now multiply this one. Uh, that is you have to split it into two terms. This into the first term and the second term into the second term. So z into 1 divided by 1 minus z minus z power n divided by 1 minus z. So that this gives z divided by 1 minus z minus z power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus z. Clear? Now, this gives S1 is equal to. Now, we found out for S n. So, what about S1? Z divided by 1 minus Z divided by Z square divided by 1 minus Z. Z2 is equal to here n equal to 2. So, that Z divided by 1 minus Z minus Z cube divided by 1 minus Z etc. etc. Xn is equal to Already we have it. Okay, x n is equal to z by this one. z divided by 1 minus z minus z power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus z. Now we are going to substitute this in sigma n. So sigma n we have the formula is s1 plus s2 etc plus s n divided by n. So s1 value is z divided by 1 minus z minus z square divided by 1 minus z. This is the first term. Then s2 is here z divided by 1 minus z minus z cube divided by 1 minus z then plus etc etc plus sn sn is here z divided by 1 minus z minus z for n plus 1 divided by 1 minus z the whole divided by n that is the formula so here which is equal to <coughs> 1 by n here you can see is divided by 1 by z and here so that n times we have z divided by 1 minus z minus and write the remaining terms. So take minus outside z square divided by 1 minus z plus z cube divided by 1 minus z then plus etc plus z power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus z. Clear? So that this is equal to equal to 1 by n into n z divided by 1 minus z. Here also you can take z square divided by 1 minus z outside. So that what will be happen here? 1 plus z plus etc plus z power n. So that which is equal to 1 divided by n. n z divided by 1 minus z minus z square divided by 1 minus z. This is the geometric series. So that that is 1 divided by 
sorry, 1 minus z power n divided by 1 minus z. So that this is equal to, um, uh, if you multiply this to what you will get z divided by 1 minus z and here you will get z square into 1 minus z power n divided by uh, n into 1 minus z the whole square. Now we can apply n tends to infinity. Okay, limit n tends to infinity. So this is sigma n. Sigma n is equal to the first term. There is no n term. So let it be z divided by 1 minus z. Here there is n term. So limit n tends to infinity z square 1 minus z power n divided by n into 1 minus z the whole square. We already have as n tends to infinity 1 by n tends to 0. So here we have 1 divided by n. So this will be tends to 0, right? So that we have z divided by 1 minus z. So remember we took the series an is equal to what? z power n, z power n. If it is, if it is an is equal to z power n minus 1, what this step will be? This step will be a1, a1 value is z power 0 plus z1 plus etc. That is 1 plus z plus z square etc. So on the way you will get the answer 1 uh, divided by 1 divided by 1 minus z. Here we get what? Here we get as z divided by the last answer you can see is z divided by 1 minus z. If you take a n is equal to in particular, in particular, if you take a n is equal to z for n minus 1, what does happen here? Limit value, uh, that is summation. Summation n equal to 1 to infinity z power n minus 1 value is 1 divided by the last we see. 1 divided by 1 minus z which is C1, that is C0 summable, okay, this is relatable, right, so the series has the sum, this one, so we can say this is it to be the C0 summable, okay, in the same way we can see the other one example, uh, that is a let an, second example, an is equal to minus 1 the whole power n plus 1 into n, so first we can find a1 value, a2 value, etc. After that s1, s2. So a1 equal to minus on the whole power 1 plus 1 into 1 which is equal to 1. a2 is equal to minus on the whole power 2 plus 1 into 2 which is equal to minus 2. Similarly we can find a3 equal to 3, a4 is equal to minus 4, etc. Okay. Now we can write sn. Because sigma n means itself x1 plus x2 etc plus sn divided by n. Now we can find Sn generally. Okay. So Sn is equal to, if here there is two cases is there, n is even case and n is odd case. Okay. So n is even, you can understand that. So here if you write even, even means yes to, right? Yes to. Uh, so yes to means what? Yes to is equal to a1 plus a2, right? So the value of a1 is 1 and a2 is minus 2 which is equal to what? Minus 1. Then if you take s3, yes, what did happen? a1 plus a2 plus a3, right? So which is equal to a1 value 1 then minus 2 a3 value plus 3. So which is equal to uh, 3 plus 1, 4 minus 2 which is here 2, okay? Then we have to check the other one also. After that we can conclude it. So here you can see a5 value is equal to 5, a6 value is minus 6 like this, okay. Uh, now we can see s4 value that is uh, s3 plus one more value a4. So s3 is here 2, a4 value is minus 4 which is minus 2. Similarly we can see s5, s5 means s4 plus one more value a5. s4 is minus 2, a5 value is 5 which is equal to 3. So here you can see if it is even number you are getting minus 1, minus 2, then minus 3, so on. So directly you can write this one here 2. 2 means here minus 1 means minus 2 by 2. So here 4 means minus 4 by 2. Then minus 3 means minus 6 by 2. So directly you can write here minus n by 2. Clear? And then you can see a the odd values that is here 2 then here 3, so on. So here you can write 3 plus 1 divided by 2, that is 4 by 2 is 2. Here you can see 
5 plus 1 divided by 2, 6 by 2 is 3. So, here you can write En plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. Yes, En is equal to. But what we need S1 plus 2 is etc. plus Sn. Okay. So, for that we can write S1 plus S2 etc. plus Sn is equal to what it happens. Okay. If N is even, what happens? Then N is or what's the condition? We just find S n. But now we are going to find S1, S2, etc. plus S n. So for that, for that, see here, N is even. N is even means what are the terms N equal to? Uh, uh, if I am taking 2 means what it remains? S1 plus S2. Up to that you have to take. So S1 value is here, uh, which is equal to what? S1. N is odd means? Uh, 1 plus 1 divided by 2 which is 1 right so here 1 and s2 value already we found out here which is equal to minus so which is equal to 0 then i am going to find n equal to 3 that is s1 plus s2 plus s3 s1 value is 1 s2 value minus 1 s3 value we just found out here that is 2 right so which is equal to 2 similarly n equal to 4 we can find n equal to 4 that means s1 plus s2 s3 s4 so which is equal to up to s3 is 2 and the s4 value here we found out as minus 2 so that's equal to 0 n equal to 5 means s1 plus s2 etc plus s5 so up to s4 we found out that is equal to here 0 plus s5 value we, we found out that is 3 so which is equal to 3 so from this we can conclude that all the even terms n equal to 2 n equal to 4 equal to 0 n equal to 6 every time you can see that the value will be 0 for even but for odd you can see here it is 2 and here it is 3 like that that means 3 means 3 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 4 by 2 here 5 plus 1 divided by 2 6 by 2 is 3 so here you can write n plus 1 divided by 2 clear so now you have to find what sigma n right so sigma n is equal to what we have the formula is s1 plus s2 etc plus s n divided by n right so this we are going to apply so that just before we found out S1 plus S2 for N is odd means 0 divided by N. Okay. 0 divided by N. So that we can write this is 0 for N is even. And for the odd case, what are S1 plus S2 etc. divided by N means N plus 1 divided by 2. N plus 1 divided by 2. Again divided by N is there in the formula. So N, N is odd okay so two value is there remember there is two values so we have to um, we have to this one sigma series will be converges that is limit will be converges to a particular sum right so here we have two sum so the limit n tends to infinity of n plus 1 divided by 2n which is equal to we can understand here limit n tends to infinity n if you take 1 plus 1 by n divided by 2a, cancel as n tends to infinity, this will be 0. So, the answer is 1 by 2. So, that here we have two values. First one, we are writing a limit n tends to infinity in premium of sigma n. Okay. That is smallest value. It is really greatest lower bound, which is equal to what? 0. And limit n tends to infinity supremum of sigma n which is equal to just now we found out for this answer which is equal to what 1 by 2 so the limit is not converged to the particular point here you can see 0 and then 1 by 2 so so that we can write the series given series okay minus 1 the whole for n plus 1 into n this is the series which is not c1 summable that is 0 summable because it is not converged to the particular point here there are two limits are there so it is not C1 sum up. Thank you.